Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. A two-vehicle accident occurred this morning on Highway 372 and Blagg. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue, Nye County Sheriff's Deputies, and Nevada Highway Patrol were all summoned to the area in the middle of the intersection, which involved a Nevada Highway Patrol trooper and a LaHaye's electrical truck. Nye County Sheriff's Auxiliary Units blocked traffic in all directions while the investigation was being conducted. Nevada Highway Patrol also dispatched other units on scene for traffic control. Nye County Sheriff's deputies were asked to do an independent investigation of this accident as well as the Nevada Highway Patrol major accident investigation team who came out from Las Vegas to conduct this investigation. Apparently the Nevada Highway Patrol trooper was traveling and turned on his lights and sirens to make a U-turn to go after a car and according to reports, the LaHaye's electrical truck pulled out in front of the trooper at that time. That is when the two collided. The Nevada Highway Patrol trooper vehicle did sustain major damage in this accident, as well as the airbags going off. Now, I must tell you that this trooper vehicle is the only charger that's out here in this town, and you might recognize it. This is Trooper Pat Walker's vehicle. He was transported to Desert View Hospital. If you can remember, he did have a triple bypass surgery just recently on his heart. The airbags did hit him in the chest there, and he was checked out and had x-rays at our local hospital here. He has told News 46 that he is suffering from some minor injuries, including bruising and a cut finger. He was released this morning shortly after he was checked out at the local facility here. He is said to have been ordered bed rest at least for a week. The trooper, however, was not so happy about his car. Nevada Highway Patrol has said not to have any other chargers, so he will be driving a regular vehicle after this. They said that the car sustained major damage and is not able to be fixed in this accident. Of course, Nevada Highway Patrol Major Accident Investigation Team is investigating this accident. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.